Hello freaks, I'm Celebrity Noam and this is Eurofreak. This episode is all about those serial competitors because apparently this year's there's a ton of them. Again, there's no time and we've got a lot to do, so here we go. Bulgaria 2016, the name of the singer is Polly Genova. She participated in 2011, finishing 12th in her semi-final, which means that she did not qualify. She also hosted the Junior Eurovision Song Contest last year. The name of the song is If Love Was a Crime. It is a very well put contemporary dance tune. It's completely in English except for a few words in Bulgarian. The fans love this. It's token time! Bulgaria 2016, you get one token from me this year, and that is the trash can lid, because you're a trashy Europop beat. Celebrity predictions! My prediction for Bulgaria 2016 is qualify. It's about time, Polly. It's about time. Macedonia 2016, the name of the singer is Calliope. She participated in 2012, which was the last time that Macedonia qualified for the final, and finished in number 13. The name of the song is Dona, and it is a wonderfully dramatic ballad, completely in Macedonian. Time. Macedonia 2016, you get one token from me this year, and that is the Ash Diff Thong, because you're a native language other than English. And good for you. Celebrity predictions! My prediction for Macedonia 2016 is qualify, or at least I really hope they qualify. Lithuania 2016, the name of the singer is Donny Montel. He participated also in 2012 and came in at number 14 in the final, achieving the best score for Lithuania in the last 10 years. The name of the song is I've Been Waiting For This Night. It is a pop anthem in English, which won the national final in Lithuania. It's kind of a remake of the Earth song, only about love. What is it with all the pop songs this year? It's token time! Lithuania 2016, you get one token from me this year, and that is the trash can lid. Because you're a trashy Euro pop beat, like the rest of them. Celebrity predictions! My prediction for Lithuania 2016 is qualify. Dunny might even top his score from last time. Iceland 2016, the name of the singer is Goethe Salone. She participated in What Do You Know 2012 and finished at number 20th in the final. Although, to be fair, it was a duet, so she wasn't there alone. The name of the song is Hear Them Calling, and it won the national final in Iceland. Great background music for line dancing. It's token time! Iceland 2016, you get one token for me this year, and that is the cowboy boot, because of your Wild West country wannabe sound. Celebrity predictions! My prediction for Iceland 2016 is not qualify. I'm sorry. Bosnia Herzegovina 2016. Bosnia is back, and they have a group. And the names of the artists are Dalal and Dean, featuring Anna and Jala. Don't ask me who's who. Dean participated in 2004 and finished in number 9 in the final. Now, I think it is fair to say that out of all these returning artists, Dean has had the most significant change in appearance since the last time he was on the Eurovision stage. The song name is Ljubavje. It is in Bosnian. Go Bosnia. It is, I guess, some sort of mashup between a Balkan ballad and a hip hop song. Not 
Not sure what you were trying to do there, Bosnia. Not sure if it's working. It's token time! Bosnia-Herzegovina 2016. You get one token for me this year, and that is, of course, the Ash Diff Thong for a native language other than English. I love you for it. Celebrity predictions! My prediction for Bosnia 2016 is not qualify. I just don't think people will get this. I didn't get it. So this is what I think of Bulgaria, Macedonia, Lithuania, Iceland, and Bosnia-Herzegovina 2016. Believe it or not, these are not the only songs which have returning artists this year, but this is all the time we have for today. Let me know what you think about these songs in the comments below. I will put links in the description for all the songs. If you want to know what I think about other songs, just hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.